at home with Lucas here. So today we're gonna to be talking about a Philips 34 inch curved ultra wide monitor. Yes, people, I finally got my hands on a Philips monitor. I've only owned two Philips products in my life, a coffee maker and now a monitor. I'm super excited about this bad boy. This thing, of course, is a 21 by nine aspect ratio. So if you're coming from a 16 by nine monitor, you need to pay attention because there are some learning curves which we're gonna figure out in this video. This thing is also a WQHD monitor. That means it has 3440 by 1440 pixel density. Yes, so you're gonna be able to put a lot on this screen. This thing also has USB-C, which is absolutely amazing. So if you have a computer that can handle USB-C, you're gonna be able to plug it in and you're good to go. Of course, this thing is great for gaming, which is absolutely amazing. It has a 100 hertz refresh rate. And with the 1500R curve radius, you're gonna be able to get immersed in your gaming and what you're doing on this monitor. It has one M's, which is absolutely amazing. It also has multi-view, yes. So you could plug in a device to your HDMI port. And you can also plug in a device to your display port and you're good to go, yes. It also has a stand so you can raise it up and down and articulate it all over the place for the best viewing experience. Yes, people, this thing is packed full of so much more than just that. So we're gonna figure out, is this something you should buy or maybe skip altogether? Yes, people, we don't want you to waste your time buying and returning. You just need to watch this video, determine what you need to buy and go for it. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy right quick. So there's the name of the company right there, Philips, some kind of brushed metal right here. It's definitely plastic though. You have the beautiful borderless display right here with the big chin at the bottom. A little bit big, but not too big. Coming around to the back, you have more of that sort of brushed metal look right here, which is looking really nice. This is where the mount goes on to the monitor itself. And then at the bottom, you have all your different button pressing right here. You got the two speakers and your power port, HDMI port, and display port. And then on the side over here, you have all your USB ports. Uh, looking a little bit barren down here. This is kind of interesting. You also have a headphone jack and a USB-C port, but not a lot going on right here. Once again, this thing is built really, really solid. Uh, they definitely know how to make these ultra wides. They're very, very strong, um, really just beasts of machinery. This one is quite heavy though. I'm not gonna lie, this thing is actually really heavy, uh, but nonetheless, let's get it on the stand. Okay, let's take a look at the stand right here. So this thing is trying to mimic the Dell stand. It's doing a pretty decent job. It's a little bit on the heavy side. Like I said earlier, this monitor is quite heavy. You can still push it up and down with basically two fingers. Um, if you push on the sides, of course, it's not gonna do much. It's more of a center press and boom, it goes down, but it is very heavy and kind of clunky. Um, but once you get it into place, as you can see, it's not really moving, okay? So that's good, it's not sliding back down or going back up. Of course, it has the tilt feature. So you could tilt it all the way back and then tilt it straight back down to where it's basically perfect for viewing straight on. This, uh, once again, is made out of that fake brushed metal look on the sides right here and at the bottom, really nice. Okay, this is my current 32 inch monitor right here. So we're gonna be popping this bad boy out and putting in the new one. Here we go, that went on the desk really easily. I don't like how the cord management is not as great. Uh, the way that the cable plugs into the monitor does not allow you to hide it at all basically so it is clipped onto their cable management in the back but it fits underneath the shelf perfectly uh, i literally have an inch to spare which is not normal normally the monitors want to go up another inch above that so definitely take note of that i definitely like the stand it looks like you could put a bunch of stuff in there if you wanted to make it like a little corral or your gadgets and whatnot but yeah first impressions on the desk it works just not my favorite. Okay, first thing I do whenever I get a new monitor is I go straight into the window settings. Then we're gonna click on system. We're gonna go to display, 
come down to advanced. Here we go, we're gonna pump it all the way. 100 hertz, there we go. Okay, so here we go, we got picture in picture. We got Windows PC here. This is actually the largest it will get. As far as I know, I went into the settings, I clicked on the largest. So you basically have to squint to see what's going on on your PC. Of course, you could switch that around. So if you just wanna watch uh, your other HDMI, so this is my display port, this is my HDMI, this is actually my Xfinity Flex box right here that I can stream off of. I can, of course, switch these around, uh, which would make more sense. You got your computer here, and then you have your streaming service over here where you're watching your Netflix or whatever. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why you'd need the two. You could do the same thing on <laughs> your Windows. Uh, but this is how picture in picture look. And there you go with just a push of a button. I was able to swap them. They swap in like two seconds. It's pretty amazing. So now I have my Xfinity Flex up here and my Windows PC down here. So that's actually really cool. I like this layout right here. Okay, one thing you're gonna find out with gaming on an ultra wide monitor is that some games like this, Batman Arkham City, they do not expand all the way out to the 21 by nine aspect ratio. They're stuck in the 16 by nine. And as far as I know, I'm not able to get it to go into the 21 by nine. There could be a way to do it, but right off the bat for just a novice gamer like I am, I'm not finding any way to actually change this. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. But then of course, if you get to a game like Portal, which is actually older than the Batman, you get the 21 by nine aspect ratio native. I didn't have to do any adjustments or anything. It just locked in. So some games are gonna utilize the entire display and give you that true immersion. And with the curve radius that this has, you really do get a phenomenal immersion in your gaming. But you can see that the 100 Hertz right here with my movement is just a little bit sluggish and a little bit slow. So if you need that amazing speed, you're probably gonna wanna skip this panel and go with something that's 144 Hertz or up. That's kind of the standard for a really good gaming panel. So this one is gonna give you that gaming experience as long as you don't need that super fast response time. Okay, so here's one of the biggest benefits of having an ultra wide is you can literally be on a Zoom, an Instagram, a TikTok, and you can be on another web browser over here on the right hand side. So this thing is the true powerhouse because you have the amazing pixel density, you're able to see the finest little text inside of here. So you're not gonna have to be squinting. And without this amazing aspect ratio, you would not be able to see the text this small, which would mean you'd have to have everything twice as big. So when you go for an ultra wide and you get something this large, you're going to get the benefit of having some super productivity. You could have your work over on the left side, have your whatever on the right side entertainment and literally have basically two monitors. Let's talk about another pro and con all inside of the Netflix app. So if you load the Netflix app and you click on something that you've watched before, you immediately notice that you do not have the full screen. So this was filmed in 16 by nine. It's actually stretched out from the four by three that it was on television when it aired. So they stretched it out, they gave you the full aspect ratio, but you still have the bars on either side. But if you find something that is shot in 21 by nine, which is actually what most theater movies are shot on nowadays, they utilize this giant aspect ratio so they can get a lot in the shot and then they can crop it down to fit whatever they need it to fit. So they do shoot in 21 by nine, which I think is gonna be the future of the aspect ratio for television and for TV watching. So I'm hoping that TVs will grab a hold of this crazy awesome aspect ratio and make some 21 by nine TV. I've been using this monitor for long enough that I think I have a full star rating and let's go ahead and start off with the build quality. So this has to be the best built monitor for my setup that I've ever dealt with. This thing is very, very handsome looking. It has this sort of metallic or wood 
finish to it that really holds up. Every day that I come to this monitor, I'm like, wow, this thing is really nice. I deal with uh, white dust from my humidifier and this thing picks up zero white dust. It's been clean from the day that I got it. The way that this monitor is built, you're able to clean this screen super easily because it's basically bezel-less. The bezel is just a little piece of plastic that runs right across it like that. Very, very nice, easy to clean, easy to maintain. The stand down here is actually kind of cool. You can basically treat it as like a little Zen garden if you want, get some sand in there, get a little rake, um, you know, mess around that way. Or you can do what I did, which is put a bunch of junk in there, or you can get yourself a wireless charging pad and put your phone down and just charge it up right inside of there. Adjustment of the stand is pretty decent, but it does get a little stiff. So if you haven't moved it around, for a little while it will get stiff and it will take a minute to push it down you have to put a lot of pressure you really have to push right in the center of the top of the monitor or in the center of the bottom to lift it up so it's one of those things where it's not nearly as good as dell but it's definitely close so i'm going to give the stand a four out of five stars i'm going to give this panel a 4.5 out of five stars and i'm going to give the overall star rating a 4.3 I'm going to say this is a phenomenal panel. It really does do a great job. The, the, the blacks are super black and the colors are very vivid. It almost has that look of a Samsung panel, but it's just not quite as good in my opinion. Uh, it's definitely crispy. You can see the text really, really well. It definitely packs a serious punch and it's definitely the sort of like all around monitor so it's going to be able to do some gaming it's going to be able to do a lot of productivity and it's going to look really sleek and really nice like i said it definitely has a very handsome look to it and it really pulls you in and it's something that you want to actually use day in and day out really really high quality definitely worth your time worth your money as long as you understand what you're getting so there you go that is the full star rating solid star rating highly recommended to everyone out there that knows what they're buying buy it all right there you go that's the phillips curved monitor hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did definitely click and clack that like button and if you want to join the adam lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew hit that subscribe button every time i get a subscriber i get a boost to make more and more videos and it's because of you guys I surpassed 9K. Yes, people, so close to 10K, but I need your help. Tell everyone, tell your friends, your family, your neighbors, your pets, your robots, tell them all that I am on YouTube and they should go subscribe and watch my videos. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.